What is going on everybody this is Mehul and welcome to your 10th bootstrap tutorial in which we'll be looking at some more information on grids which we looked in the last tutorial. So in the last tutorial we just programmed for two main device views and that is for a large screen and a kind of intermediate screen and in this tutorial we'll be working on all the other sizes as well. So the next size we have is a call of SM. Now this SM would work on 768 and above. So if I try this out and I say that this should occupy again, let's say 5, this should work with SM of 3 now and this should work SM of uh, what's left 4 okay now if I try this out then you see that from a large screen it shrinks to f another ratio then it shrinks to another ratio then for a very small screen I guess we have XS which stands for extra small so if I change all of these to 12 then what will happen is each of these would occupy their own lines so yeah so that's what happens when the sum exceeds 12 everything else occupies their own lines so if you see then these styles are being applied and you could even just keep them at 4 4 4 if you wish to and that's how they'll stay all the way down to any size they are presented so those were some major breakpoints in bootstrap and how they work now you can actually create some more elements and create a little bit of complex application by setting which div is visible at which perspective so you can just say that you just supply this thing and say that visible LG now what this would do is it would just make this div visible only on large screens so if I say that this div is visible only to large desktops and if I just sum this up correctly a little bit if I change this to 3 and if I just take it back and reload okay so now you see four divs one two three four and this div is visible only to large desktops as I slide this down you see that the fourth div vanishes and this is because I said to this div that you have to vis be visible only on larger desktops similarly you could hook up some M D or you could SM or XS for like you can say that hey mobile user I got you so that makes life kinda simple so you don't have to like bang your head every time with CSS to figure your way out and if you can see that this is not summing up these four are not summing up to be 12 so this fourth div is kinda appears in next line but as I said you you should try to keep the sum to either 12 or try to keep a all of these to 12 so that they appear in their own lines so that's it pretty much for this tutorial and in the next tutorial we'll be looking at some more applications of this grid in bootstrap and probably would be looking at um, something else interesting so that's it for this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then next time